All right, I see the rate of participants joining has slowed down a little bit and I have uh, several minutes after the hour. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, again, um, uh, we'll have a toast at the uh, end of this brief program. And so if you haven't had a chance to get a glass with something in it, please, please feel free to do that. Um, but uh, we, we will uh, get started at this point. Um, good evening, uh, everyone, and welcome to our virtual celebration of the SLU Law Class of 2020. Uh, thank you for taking the time to gather this evening. Uh, we have a, a pretty brief program today, and we won't keep you long, but we really wanted to do something. Um, and it is so good to see you, even if it is only through a Zoom screen, uh, something that we have all become entirely too familiar with over the last couple of months. Um, I hope each of you and, and your loved ones are safe and well. Uh, before I offer a brief remarks, um, this class um, made a decision um, a week or two ago uh, to choose two faculty members as the faculty members of the year. Uh, Dean Marsha McCormick as faculty member of the year and Dean Mary Pat McGinnis as adjunct faculty member of the year. Uh, they are both amazing. And this recognition is so richly deserved. So ordinarily, I'd ask you all to leave your microphones on mute, but right now you should feel free to take them off mute if you'd like to do that. And I invite you to join me in thunderous applause for our two faculty members. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I won't put them on the spot by any more than I already have um, by asking them to speak. Okay. Um, can you hear me all right? If I see some heads nodding, can you hear me okay? Great. Okay. Very good. So, um, Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Today, you should have donned your cap and gown, made your way to Chaffetz Arena, across the stage before your family members and loved ones and other people who care about, who care about you. Mom, and dads, spouses and partners, grandparents and children, dear friends and others. You deserve to see you in your cap and gown and to see you march. And you deserve to share this impressive achievement with all of them, as each of them has been on this journey with you all along. You should have been hooded today by members of the faculty who have explored the law with you, challenged you, pushed you, supported you, and learned together with you. Today, you should have been cheered and congratulated by a staff body that has believed in you, has been committed to your success since before the first day of orientation, cares about you deeply, and has worked tirelessly with you every step of your journey with the law. That did not happen today. And the fact that that rite of passage did not happen today weighs heavily on me. I know it is disappointing to you, and understandably so. Yet none of that changes what you have done. None of it changes your extraordinary achievements. It doesn't undermine the successes and victories you have had during your time at SLU Law. And it does not change the fact that you have completed the requirements for the Juris Doctor or Master of Laws degree programs, as Dean Barris confirmed a few moments ago. It certainly does not change the pride we feel in you because at the end of the day, you did it. Graduates, as Michael Scott shared with all of us in his video, uh, and if you haven't had a chance to look at it, I, I, hope, you will, I hope you will do so uh, because it's, it's well done and, and uh, a lot of fun to watch. Um, but as Michael Scott shared, a uh, law school is hard. It is exhausting at times. And there are moments when it can be discouraging. There are also moments when it can be absolutely exhilarating, but in any event, it is never easy. And of course, it's not supposed to be easy. The practice of law is difficult after all. There's a great deal that's at stake. Clients are counting on you, so we make it challenging. But we did not foresee the additional challenges you would face in this, your final semester, because of the ongoing pandemic crisis. This has been an incredibly difficult stretch. My heart goes out to those of you who have parents and spouses and other loved ones who are on the front lines of the battle against this virus. I've spoken with many of you. To those of you who know someone who has been directly affected by the virus. 
to those of you who are yourselves at risk. This final semester has been a much more difficult and uncertain semester than the final semester of law school is supposed to be. It has certainly been an unusual way to bring the roller coaster ride that is called law school to an end. You are to be commended for adjusting and for staying the course. You have successfully navigated all the ordinary as well as the extraordinary challenges of law school. Even though we are not gathered in, in person together today, um, you should feel tremendous pride in what this day represents for each of you. Today we celebrate in the best way we can under these circumstances, the culmination of your hard work, dedication, and even sacrifice during your time in law school. You have completed an important milestone on your journey with the law and your entry into the legal profession. I've shared with many of you in the past that I'm proud to be a lawyer. I sincerely hope you feel a deep sense of pride, not only in your degree, but also in joining this profession, and that you feel that pride throughout your careers. Lawyers, well, let's face it, we're not always portrayed favorably. And there are a good many jokes about lawyers that are, are funny, if we can admit that to ourselves. As with any group, there are members of the legal profession who do not always set the best example or have a particularly deep sense of integrity. That is unfortunate, but it is true. But the profession is a noble profession, and I am proud of what we are called to do. Judges and lawyers are nothing less than the guardians of the rule of law. Lawyers ensure access to justice. Lawyers are the special defenders of civil rights and civil liberties. It's actually pretty heavy. It's also powerful. COVID-19 has highlighted the need for lawyers now as much as ever. Lawyers who can make sense of complex public health law and policy. Lawyers who can explain how changed circumstances might affect contract obligations. Lawyers who understand tax and other implications of legislation adopted in response to crisis. Of course, given the disproportionate impact that a crisis like this pandemic will have on vulnerable groups. In times of crisis, lawyers also defend the rights of the poor and the marginalized when they need it most. As a Jesuit institution, we're called to be the architects of a more just society. And so many of you have already answered that call, whether in the context of this pandemic or in so many other ways. When I consider all the powerful work you will do in your respective careers, I am filled with pride and with a sense of hope. It's my hope and my expectation that someday soon we'll gather together in person when it's safe to do so, of course, to celebrate your graduation from law school in some appropriate and meaningful way. But until that happens, I'm going to ask you to do something, and I'd like you to, I'd like you to humor me if you're, if you're willing to do it. Graduates, I'd like you to take a deep breath. Close your eyes for a moment, if you're willing. Let a smile form on your lips and consider this. You just completed law school. That is a very big deal. We are so very proud of you and cannot wait to see what you accomplish tomorrow. This is not a perfect substitute, but please accept our hearty congratu congratulations, our best wishes, Please be well. Let's see the video. Hey class of 2020, I just wanna say congratulations on finishing law school and taking another step in our journeys. This is an amazing achievement that deserves to be celebrated. And I know we're not getting to celebrate the way we wanted to, but I hope you're taking a little time for yourself today and recognizing all that you've achieved. I wanna say thank you. Uh, thank you for allowing me to serve as your SBA president this past year, uh, being patient with me during my presidency and allowing me to grow in this position. When I was thinking about what to talk about in this video, I had a lot of different ideas 
I wanted to talk about things that were going to resonate with y'all and things that you could relate back to. Um, and in thinking about all that, I tried to think about what's important. And one thing that always came up were y'all. It was y'all. Um, every time someone asked me what makes SLU Law so great, I always say the people. It's 100% the people. And I think SLU Law, class of 2020, is a perfect example of that. Y'all are what makes SLU so special. When I moved to St. Louis in 2017, I didn't know anybody. I hadn't been to any admitted students days or talked to many people on Facebook, um, but I didn't really know anybody. I remember one of the very first nights was our 1L bar crawl before, or even orientation. And I remember everyone was trying to figure each other out and figure out what's going on. And there were a lot of people with just walls up. And I think that's kind of a good reflection of our class. Um, because as that night went on, just as these past three years have gone on, we started out with our walls up, but the more we got to know each other, the more we started connecting with people, the more our walls came down and we were allowed to let people in. And I think that's one of the greatest things about the class of 2020 is our walls are down. We are, we connect with each other so well. Um, and I knew that night I'd made the right decision in choosing Slew Law. Y'all are so special and you've made my three years at SLU something that I will always cherish. So thank you for letting down your walls. Thank you for letting me in your lives and congratulations. I'm looking forward to seeing what all y'all accomplish during this crazy time. Stay safe and good luck. Hi, my name is Bola Dineral, and I'm so proud to be part of the graduating class of 2020 at SLU Law. And when I think about and reflect on all the things I'll miss about being a part of SLU Law, there's just so many. Um, I'll miss the janitors and the security guards who always wished us a happy day. Um, I'll miss the staff um, for always looking out for us, for their constant encouragement, for um, their words of advice. I will miss you guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. I'll miss the admissions office, um, to sitting in Allie's office as she encourages me to use my LinkedIn more um, and for them to trust me um, to be a part of their team um, and when I could be of service. Um, I'll miss them. Thank you. Um, to, to the deans, um, thank you, thank you so much um, for believing in me, for your constant words of advice and for your friendships. Thank you, same with the professors. Thank you um, for you know, giving me opportunities to grow and expand my knowledge and making me a better scholar. I'll miss all of that. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, I'll miss my classmates. Um, thank you, you know, for your your encouragement and your um, wisdom and your friendships I will um, you know I would cherish them um, yeah these three years have been awesome because of you um, so thank you I will miss my ABA labor and employment law family um, thank you to the journal family you know for trusting in me um, to be your editor-in-chief um, this past year. It has truly been an honor to serve and work along people who are putting the best and brightest out in labor and employment. Thank you um, to Professor McCormick, Bodie, and Professor Cherry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, to Bolsa, my Bolsa family. Thank you guys so much, so, so much. Um, you guys have been a family indeed. Thank you for trusting me to serve 
um, on the local, regional, and national level. It has been an amazing three years, and I'm just so grateful. My heart is so full. Um, yeah, there's just so much I'll miss about being a part of SLU Law, but hey, I'll be a Billiken forever now, right? It feels really weird to be recording this. I think mostly because I'm still not done with finals, but you're graduating and it feels different. I feel like I'm missing all of the kind of transitional mile markers that uh, kind of, you know, transition you from law school to being a lawyer. But I think what I wanted to say to all of you is that it was you that made my law school experience really special. There are some experiences about law school that are universal. Everybody takes con law and criminal law and, you know, maybe moot court, but not everybody has a graduating class or a law school community that's as close as ours. And I'm really, really missing that right now. But I'm so happy for all of us and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Congratulations. I link all my favorite memories in law school, obviously, to the people that I met along the way. So Kayla, you are my favorite person to roast, and I love you so much. Ashton, you're like a little sister to me. I went to law school for my kids, Connor and Cameron. Everything that I do is for them. I adopted that motto for my parents. Everything they do is for me. Mom and Dad, I wanna thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. Um, Mom, you are the best mother in the world. I could not have done this without you. I love you guys so much. To my classmates, we congratulations to us. We finished, we're done. As one of my classmates said somewhere on Facebook very well, um, we started with a solar eclipse and we ended with a pandemic. We're gonna do just fine on the bar. See you all on the other side. Good luck. This is gonna be fun. Hi everyone, this is Alex Gass. I just wanted to share a couple of my memories that I had during my time in law school with you all. Uh, my probably favorite specific memory is the trial advocacy class I took um, in the civil courts building and just arguing a case that was so fun. And of course, when I played softball with, all, with the rest of section D, I mean, I didn't do very well, but of course I had fun. I'd like to thank all of my professors who helped me become the legal professional I am today, especially Professor Miriam Cherry, who helped me develop a lot of my skills. And something I'd like to say to my fellow grads, uh, well, we did it. We all deserve this. Uh, we all worked really hard. Uh, we'll have commencement eventually, and we'll all do great on the bar. So this is Alex Gass just signing off and saying good luck and congrats. Safety first. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it, we're done. Wow, it is crazy to say that and to think that three years has gone by so fast. I remember the bar crawl we had before school even started one all year and it was so nerve wracking and exciting to get to meet everyone and see who I was gonna be spending the next three years of my life with. And those three years have come and gone quickly, wow. I just wanna say thank you to all of my friends and Section E, what's up? You guys are awesome. Thank you for all of the memories and for everything you guys have ever done for me. Uh, I can't really pick one memory and say it was my favorite. I really enjoyed playing softball with everyone and losing and bowling. Bowling was always fun too, also losing. But we always had a great time and that's all that matters. So I dug out my old cap from undergrad, just imagine that says a 20, not a 16. And the words of the true queen herself. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. All right, so I guess this is my video for graduation. Here we are. We made it, uh, even through COVID. Um, I guess a specific memory that really shaped my law school experience was just making my friends. Um, the squad, shout out to the squad. Uh, they literally dragged me through 3L year 
uh, and got me here. Um, so while that's not super specific, uh, having that close-knit group of friends that really supported each other uh, and made sure that we all got here really helped shape my law school experience into a good one. Um, Sue McGraw is awesome. Uh, <laughs> doing the criminal defense clinic, it really changed the direction I was going in uh, for my career after law school and getting those opportunities and having Sue's mentorship has meant the world and I'm so thankful that SLU is full of professors that are like that, that have helped each and every one of us uh, discover what we're gonna do after law school and have helped us to realize what that is. Um, and I guess to all of the, all of us that are, that are graduating, uh, we did it guys. It's hard to come up with just one specific memory that stands out from law school because there have been so many. Um, but off the top of my head, I would say getting to compete in the Jessup competition, both 2L and 3L year. Um, it's just been, it was truly an amazing experience, um, especially getting to know international law in that setting. In addition to that, I think being the first VP of diversity inclusion for SBA and the many Friendsgivings that I got to partake in will definitely be special memories that I'll never forget. Um, as far as professors that um, I would like to thank it's, um, and staff members, it's just hard to pick. Um, so many professors have been great throughout my law school experience, uh, but I would especially like to thank Professor Traco and Professor Canfield for being um, one of our, being our coach during the Jessup competition and for their hard work. Professor Canfield was on sabbatical and she still came back to help us and prepare us um, and without them, I don't think we would have advanced as far as we did. I think law school has been an incredible experience, um, especially this last semester. I know that's not how we thought we would end it, but um, looking back, I'll never forget these moments. And I hope that the rest of my classmates um, will never forget the great memories that we had. Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to take a second to thank you all uh, for all the amazing memories uh, that we have created over the last three years. Um, you know, to Section G, where it all started, uh, to those, you know, bar reviews and bowling nights and those late nights studying um, will be some of the best memories um, that I'll ever have of SLU Law. Um, and thank you to all the professors, uh, the faculty and the staff who have been our mentors, our guides throughout this entire uh, experience. Um, and, you know, I know this wasn't the most ideal or anticipated ending, um, but nonetheless, we did it. So congratulations. Cheers uh, to my fellow classmates. Um, and again, thank you for everything. I have a lot of memories from SLU. But the things that will stick with me most are the friendships that I cultivated during my entire three years. Special shout out to my squad A peeps for keeping me sane during this entire process. And to my fellow classmates, we did it! We made it through all the crying, the cramming, and the onlining these past three years. Big shout out to my professors and to my family for supporting and assisting me as I develop my legal career. I cannot wait to work with you all in the St. Louis community once we now overcome the bar in July. With that being said, I cannot wait to celebrate with you all, and it is a must that we all get together sometime after the bar to celebrate this huge accomplishment. Again, congratulations, everybody. I miss you all. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hi everyone, happy graduation. I'm so sad we can't do it all together, but I can't wait until we can see each other again, whether or not in the courtroom or on that stage. Uh, first off, I wanted to thank our entire class for being amazing. Um, we have so many funny people and so many funny professors, so shout out to them. I don't know if you noticed, I was laughing a lot. Uh, second, 
softball. Oh my gosh, Section G, thank you for putting me in the right outfield where the ball wasn't supposed to go, but then if it did, ready to get the ball for me so I wouldn't have to. Thank you, you guys were amazing. And finally, thank you for the amazing camaraderie and advocacy I've seen all of you guys present. You guys are amazing individuals and I can't wait to see where all of you guys go because I couldn't have done law school without you. So thank you so much for being amazing. Happy graduation. Hi, this is Nicole Strombaum. Congratulations, fellow graduates. I'd like to thank Professor Sydney Watson and Professor Yerby for being absolutely wonderful mentors. And I would also like to thank Amy Sanders. And thank you to Professor Traco as well. I've had great memories at SLU Law, including memories with Ilsa having all kinds of events over the last few years, and I have really enjoyed my time. Hey guys, we did it. Congratulations, SLU Law Class of 2020. Uh, it's hard to believe this is how we're celebrating without a graduation stage and all apart, but I know that that time will come. I just want to say thank you to all the faculty and staff that have helped us get here today. And I want to thank all of my classmates for helping me along the way. Uh, and thank all of you for the memories that we've made. I look forward to many more memories. I look forward to calling you all colleagues. And I look forward to seeing you in court, seeing you at the bar, and hopefully a bar before then. So take care, guys. I look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you. Congrats. Hello, SLU Law Class of 2020. I'm sorry we can't be together to celebrate you and all you've accomplished in person right now. And I think I speak for everyone at SLU Law when I say that we miss you and we miss getting to meet your families and getting to see you be the center of all the love and hope we have for you today. Graduation is a time to look back and reflect, often but not always fondly, on where we've been. For law school, that means back to those early days, last week or 100 years ago. I don't know, time is weird right now. But whenever it was, you were all bright-eyed, equal parts driven and nervous about what law school was going to be like, and then we just threw you right into it, into learning everything at once. Like the internet wisdom says, law school is easy. It's like riding a bike, only the bike is on fire and the ground is on fire and everything's on fire. But here's the thing, law school is transformative education and throwing you right into everything is part of that transformation. Law school transforms the way that you see the world and the way that you think, and it also transforms how you move through the world. It transforms the way that other people see you and the power you have to make the world better or worse. Individually, you may not feel particularly powerful, but think of all that you've learned and the skills that you've developed. And think about where you've seen lawyers in action, whether it was at the highest levels of government or on the floors of airports. Lawyers know where the levers of power are and how to move them. These are real life superpowers, and you have them right now, even if that's just the power of knowing where to start. So go out there, use your powers for good, women and men for and with others. We'll be cheering you on. Congratulations.
wow, <laughs> that, was fin that was the first time I saw it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Could you take your mics off, mute again, and join me in applauding everyone Woo. to that video both on screen and behind the screen? It was fantastic. I'm going to do my, my best to hold it together here. That I, I do have a Kleenex nearby in case it's necessary. I, uh, I, I was touched by that. Um, Why am I on mute? Uh, with a toast. Um, and, uh, oh. Can you hear me okay? Okay, I'm seeing heads nodding and thumbs up. Thank you. Um, so we're going we're gonna to end the formal program with a toast, and you should feel free to keep your microphones off mute if you'd like to do that. And, and, um, and we're definitely not going to end the Zoom meeting. You, you all can hang out and, and contribute to the chat and, uh, and, and come together in virtual community some more. Uh, but, um, but first, a, a brief toast, if, if you'll indulge me. I, th I thought about this a lot. There's so much that we could toast. Um, just the many, many hours of service you've performed during your time here. So much service uh, in the schools, in the jails, on the streets, in Jefferson City, elsewhere. Uh, so powerful, such a powerful manifestation of who we are. We could toast the inspiring accomplishments of the students in the legal clinics program over the last couple of years. I mean, the list is so long, the wins they've had on behalf of the most vulnerable. We could toast the remarkable success of our competition teams. We heard a little, uh, a little bit of a reference to that in, in the video. This was definitely a really good year for our competition teams. And given the last couple of months, we could toast your resilience and your perseverance. But I think the, the common thread woven throughout all these different experiences and successes um, that I'd like to toast is what I heard over and over and over in the video uh, this evening and what uh, Michael Scott referred to in the video that he made. And that's the relationships that have formed and the care and the support that you have consistently shown one another during your time here. Um, certainly numerous friendships have formed, whether over karaoke or softball, bar review, casino night, the pilg auction, or completing certain LRW assignments, um, or whatever the case may be, um, friendships uh, formed uh, organically and naturally, and, and that's been great to see. You found mentors among faculty and staff and others, and in the process, we quickly grew to respect and admire you relationships form the process. If history is any lesson, a few of you might get married, and, and I mean to each other. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, uh, but I know it's happened um, from time to time in, in years past. Uh, in any event, those relationships all matter, and they're going to continue to matter, and they help through the tough times, and they help give life meaning. And so, if I may, I'm raise my glass. Here's to the enduring and very special relationships that are the of the SLU Law class of 2020. My hand thank you. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, we That's the end of the formal program. This is not goodbye, to be very clear, um, though it is the end of this program, uh, but it's farewell until we see each other again, and we will see each other again, and I look forward to that happy time. Be safe, be well, and always remember how proud we are of you and that you are a part of this Slew Law family. Thanks so much, everyone. Feel free to chat. Right. Thank you, Dean. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dean. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dean Johnson. Dean Johnson. Thank you, 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 Dean Johnson. Hi. 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 Hi.
<laughs> Hi, friends. Hi, family. Hey, nephew. Okay. Hey, let's see. <laughs> you owe me an email. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Doing good. 